jailbreak update for you, um, along with uh, some information on the newest release of Apple software for iOS 5.1.1. The jailbreak that Pato-G and everyone else has been working on uh, lately has been for 5.1. Uh, Apple just released, I believe it was either yesterday or two days ago, uh, they released 5.1.1. And uh, right now I'm going to say do not upgrade to that if you plan on jailbreaking. Um, stay on either uh, 5.0.1 if that's what you're on, or just stay on whatever, whatever from you're on, just stay on that for now. Um, and just definitely do not upgrade to 5.1.1 because we had no confirmation yet if the exploits that they all have that were meant to be used for 5.1 will work for 5.1.1 also. But uh, one of the developers right here said his um, exploits are still good under 5.1.1. And there was another um, developer that also said they, that his were good on 5.1.1. Um, I apparently unfavored that tweet. I normally just favored them, like that tweet, so I can uh, report to you guys what's going on. But apparently, I, I unfavored one of those. Uh, but basically, there was two developers, and they both said that their exploits were good. We have no word from Patogy to confirm any um, thing that's going on yet. But both of those developers said that their exploits are good on 5.1.1 yet. So it looks like Apple did not patch that. So whatever jailbreak that they were working for 5.1 may also work for 5.1.1, which is the newest release. Um, so that's a good sign. Uh, but just make sure you stay on whatever firmware you're on right now and do not upgrade to 5.1.1. If you're on an A4 device, meaning the processor in your, in your um, device is in a, the A4 chip, uh, you can actually um, already jailbreak 5.1.1 with your device, but it's a tethered jailbreak. The one that uh, Pathogen and everyone's working on is for an, uh, an untethered, and it's for all the devices. Um, including the new iPad, which has the A5X processor. Now, if you're also running an A4 device, you can downgrade to 5.0.1, which is the newest software that has an untethered jailbreak out for it. Um, 5.1 has a tethered jailbreak, and 5.1.1 has a tethered jailbreak for the A4 devices, uh, but 5.0.1 is the newest software that has um, an untethered jailbreak out for pretty much all the devices, actually. Uh, and you can use Red Snow to um, do that tethered jailbreak, there's, I don't have a tutorial out on 5.1.1, but I do for 5.1, which is basically the same thing as 5.1.1. It's the same process. Um, and I'll put an annotation or a link in the description for that. Um, I'll also go ahead and put the written tutorial that um, Redmond Pi put out right here. I'll put a link for that in the description if you want to follow that. Uh, and also, if you want to downgrade to 5.0.1 to have an untethered jailbreak, like I said, I also have a jailbreak tutorial on that. Um, so that'll be in the description or an annotation or something like that. Um, but the downgrade, uh, to, learn, to know how to downgrade is right here. I may put out a video in the future on that. Um, I'm not positive on that yet or not. But if you want all this future content I plan on doing, go ahead and subscribe at the top, and that'll notify you when I release those videos. Um, I plan on doing more jailbreak updates like this, but there's also an unlock if you use the Jebby uh, Alter S SIM card thing. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this and how it works, but basically I believe you just put it into your phone and it unlocks it. Um, and that's also for 5.1.1, so I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, and here's some proof on Ionic. Uh, he showed off his 5.1.1 jailbreak on the new iPad. Um, I don't believe this has been, I don't believe he stated if it's tethered or untethered yet. Uh, but he, ha he does have proof that it is jailbroken, um, as you can see right here. Here's Cydia running the new iPad 3 um, on 5.1.1. Um, so I'll put the link in the description for that also. And I'll also put in the uh, direct links that the Brennan Pi supported um, for 5.1.1 software. So uh, you can go over here and download whatever software you need. They got them all right here. Um, and Right now, I'm having some computer problems. As you can see by my computer, I have um, stuff all sorted out differently, and I, there's a lot of junk going on. Um, I'm not going to go into that, uh, but I'm not sure when this video will be up because I don't know how the export's going to work and everything because I'm currently running my operating system on an external drive. Um, my SSD's having some problems, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but basically, this video just... I wanted to update you guys on everything that's going on, and I hope you understood all that. If you have any questions about anything at all, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll respond to you and uh, help you out with your question. Hopefully I can answer that. I have no idea when this jailbreak can release anymore. Um, now that they release 5.1.1, I believe that all the developers working on the 5.1 jailbreak um, are now going to try to get it to work with 5.1.1 uh, before they release it. So I have no idea how long this is going to take anymore. Um, uh, we'll just have to wait and see and uh, wait for Pod2G to say something. Um, but I'll basically put all these links in the, uh, the description. And uh, that's it, I guess. Um, so. 
pretty much just do not upgrade to 5.1.1 because we don't know how we don't know if this generic is going to work yet or not but it looks like it will uh but that's it guys again if you want any of my future content go ahead and subscribe at top and that'll notify you when i release my new videos i'll have more of these um jailbreak update videos and i'll also have a tutorial when this jailbreak is out if this video helped you guys out i appreciate a like down below and you guys can also follow me on Twitter to get uh, more jailbreak updates and tech stuff that's going on. My Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I take it for a week, as you can see right here. But that's it, guys. Catch you in the next video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later.